guys make sure to stay tuned and one common mistake if you make that mistake guys we will talk about what it is it can actually cost you thousands of dollars in repairs they will will explain what it is Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a BMW F10 F11 from year 2010 to year 2017. If you need to find where the oil level sensor fuse is located, which fuse controls it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, realize it's a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. But it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos guys. We take them completely apart, we show you how to do almost anything. Transmissions, engines, bodywork, coats, fuses. Why we do that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. Now, guys, we took pictures of every fuse box in that BMW, okay? Uh, every fuse box so we can clearly guys show you where everything's located so you can clearly see the fuses because otherwise they're hidden in places where practically we cannot get the camera so we're going to show you one by one okay we have video about every single fuse every single relay so let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you need to guys okay find where the fuel pump fuse is located all you have to do watch our video it will take you probably guys less than two minutes replace that fuse and you're back on the road otherwise you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere guys we make those videos for your convenience now uh, we'll make video for every single fuse and every single relay guys and we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channel check it out they can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so the oil level sensor guys which fuse we need to check we need to demonstrate on this BMW 5 series right here now guys you have multiple fuse boxes and 9 out of 10 people do not know about all the hidden fuse boxes you have in that car we'll recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on BMW F10 F11 Go ahead and open the passenger door. Once you guys do that, open the glove box. On the back side, on the right, you have a cover. Remove that cover and underneath you'll find a fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let us tell you guys why it's super important to test fuses and relays. Fuses guys sometimes are really hard to know if they're burnt or not. For instance, I'm going to pull one fuse here, okay, and sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're good, they're bad. And let's say you think you have a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up having problems again and you spend time, money, you buy parts, diagnostics, you pay for services that you don't need guys, you practically wasted your money. So all you have to do is waste, uh, ch ch check your fuses, that way you don't waste money guys so always test your fuses even if you think it's good always test it it even happened to us guys okay and we work on cars all the time another thing always test your relays they're a little bit harder to uh, test but if you want to see guys how to test fuse relays we will put a link in the description of the video below but we've seen so many customers that think that they have a good fuse they put it back in they waste their money on parts and diagnostic that they practically guys do not need so check out the link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse and how to test the relay as well so guys if you want to buy fuses relays parts tools at a really good price quick shipping as well guys we're going to put a link in the description of the video below guys uh, make sure you get some for peace of mind and you can put some spare ones in the glove box for the oil level sensor one fuse will need to be checked guys please make sure you stand till the end we want to share one good advice with you that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us if you come in that row of fuses you see right here that's fuse number 42 that 30 m fuse that's the last fuse right here so if we zoom in okay that's what it looks like that's the fuse for the oil level sensor that you will need to check so you guys have all kinds of different fuses relays okay in that car so what we recommend guys okay buy some spare fuses relays put them in the glove box for a peace of mind one time we needed a replacement we couldn't get one okay and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere so always keep some spare fuses and relays in your glove box guys that way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us hopefully the video was helpful guys thank you for watching and see you next time